Kevlar or breathing plumbing or like wire material? Um, what you know? Oh yeah, you're the concrete guy. Yeah. We put. Uh, what you put Kevlar or fibers. Some, some of the schools do Kevlar. Are you talking about the concrete canoe? Yeah. 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 Some of the schools do Kevlar. Uh, we did fiberglass. Um, you put like limestone in there, or, like things. No, because it's too heavy. It's too heavy. Uh, we use as our aggregate. We use recycled glass. So it's expanded glass. They heat up in their little spheres. So it's less dense than water, and so our aggregate throughout our canoe is less dense than water. I think our uh, our unit weight for water or for our canoe is about like 45 pounds per cubic foot, and so six, water is 62. Per cubic foot, so it's it floats. It's scientifically <laughs> 250 pounds, but she'll float. Yeah. Well, there you go. 20 feet long. <laughs> All right, potential students. What is engineering? Why are you here? What is engineering? Does anybody really answer that? <laughs> finding solutions to problems. Great answer, and I'm glad you had an answer something like that because oftentimes what we find is engineering is considered the invisible profession because most people have no idea of what we do or how we do it they just know stuff kind of happens like why are you here why do you why are you looking at engineering what do you want to do with it go ahead what we want to build stuff it's usually the build or we want to break so we work on tomorrow's problems we're trying to really look ahead and figure out what are the problems that we're going to be encountering and how can we fix those we're trying to make things better Try to make them more efficient. Try to make lives better for people. And then figure out what problems we're causing by making those lives better and fix the problems that we just caused. I mean, it's kind of one of these endless cycles that we have. We're trying to search for better ways to solve the problems that are out there. Um, the anaerobic digestion of, of food waste, probably the easiest title that's up there. Really cool project. So what the students were doing was taking our food waste from our dining hall, putting it through an anaerobic digester, so actually trying to turn it into taking the gas pumping the gas back into our food services as a methane to fire up the ovens in there and then taking the solid waste and using that for fertilizer that we put into the food forest, which if any of you have been to the food forest or saw it, it's on your way into campus. Our students grow their own food and they can go out there, so we're using that to grow the food that they could then pick and help cook. So we're trying to put that whole cycle together. And in the fall of 2017, our graduate program will be starting up. Now I want to throw a word of warning out there, or caution to everybody. If your parents are going, oh, they're going to start a grad program, that means they're going to ignore their undergrads. No, we are not. I promise you we are not. Our undergraduate faculty are still going to be here teaching. We are not going to have TAs teaching the program. The program is designed for students to come in and help with research, but they will not be in our classrooms teaching. So that is one thing that I know with a lot of the schools that have graduate programs, you end up with undergrad or graduate students teaching classes and grading, we will not be taking that route.